viewers and listeners, welcome once again to Salida Teleradio, where you will learn lessons that will be helpful to you. This is your teacher host, Ma'am Elgin Saruka. For this afternoon, you will learn about abbreviations, equivalents, and substitutions of measurements. A lesson from Grade 8 TLE. Let us welcome our teacher broadcaster, Ma'am Roslyn M. Presno. Good day, viewers and listeners. Welcome to our lesson today. I am so happy because even though we're experiencing difficulties because of this pandemic, we can still be able to deliver to you our lessons. So today, we are going to discuss abbreviations, equivalents, and substitutions of measurements, which is part of your Module 4 for the Grade 8 TLE. So before we proceed, let us have first our objectives. First, identify common abbreviations for measurements in cooking. Second, familiarize common equivalents for measurements in cooking. And third, select substitutions of some ingredients. Now, let me ask you, do you love cooking? Or have you tried cooking? What have you observed? Do you notice the different abbreviations found in your recipe books or even from your measuring cups or measuring tools inside your kitchen? When we say abbreviations, those are the shortened term for the word. For example, the word meter. Meter is a measurement for length. So it is spelled as M-E-T-E-R. So instead of writing the whole word, you can just write M. So 1M for 1 meter. So now, let us try the following. So what we're going to do is to write the abbreviations of the following words that I'm going to read. Number one is cup. Again, number one is cup. Second, second is liter. Again, liter. And third, ounce. Again, ounce. Fourth, we have tablespoon. Again, tablespoon. Next, teaspoon. Again, teaspoon. But for now, you are going to reserve all your answers because we will check all of those after our discussion. So today, we are going to dis uh, discuss about abbreviations, equivalents, and substitutions of measurements. So recipes are full of culinary codes like abbreviations and measurements. So ma-observe na to sa mga cooking books nga atong makita sulod sa atong kitchen nga naay mga abbreviations nga nakabutang. But if we do not know what are those abbreviations stand for, how can we be able to do our job properly? And that is what we are going to learn today. First, we're going to discuss the common abbreviations of measurements in cooking. So I would like you to get your notes and try to list down the important details you will find or I, you will hear from my discussion. For number one, we have tablespoon. So for tablespoon, you can write big letter T or big letter T and big letter B or TB. Next, big letter T, B, and L, or TBL, or the most commonly used, the TBSP. So that is for tablespoon. Next is the teaspoon. For teaspoon, you can use small letter T or TSP, which is commonly used by everyone. So you have to be aware that for tablespoon, you use the big letter T. And for the teaspoon, you're going to use the small letter T. Next is cup. 
So for the cup, you can use big letter C or small letter C. Next, we have the gram. For gram, you can just write letter G. Next is the kilogram. For kilogram, you write KG. Next is liter. For liter, you write big letter L or small letter L. Next is pound. For pound, you write LB. Next is milliliter. So for milliliter, you use M and L. And for the ounce, you use OZ. And for the pint, that's PT. Next is the common equivalence for measurements in cooking. So when do you use this equivalence for measurements? Especially if we don't have the availability of a particular measuring tool. For example, we have number one, 16 tablespoons. You may use one cup or 250 ml. So instead of using 16 tablespoon, you can just use one cup. Next is eight tablespoons, which is also equivalent for one half cup or 125 ml. Next, we have four tablespoon, which is also equal to one fourth cup or 60 ml. Next is three teaspoons, is equals to one tablespoon or 15 ml. Next is one cup, which is equivalent also for eight fluid ounces or 250 ml. And we have also substitutions of some ingredients. So this time, if the ingredient is available, you may use the substitutions. First, we have 2 tablespoon or 30 ml of flour. If it's not available, then you can use cornstarch, just 1 tablespoon or 15 ml. Next is 1 cup or 250 ml of sifted cake flour. You may use 1 cup minus 2 tablespoon or 30 ml of sifted all-purpose flour. Next, for 1 cup, you may use 250 ml of whole milk or 1 half cup or 125 ml of evaporated milk plus 1 half cup or 125 ml of water. Next, for one cup, you may use 250 ml of sour milk or one cup, which is 250 ml of fresh milk plus one tablespoon or 15 ml of vinegar or lemon juice. So those are the different abbreviations, equivalents, and substitutions of some ingredients so now you have the idea of what you're going to do inside the kitchen if something is not available so now let us try to check your answers during our pretest so for number one we have cup now let us try to check your answer for cup the abbreviation is capital C or small letter C. Next, liter. What again is the abbreviation for liter? Okay, liter for capital L or small letter L. Next, we have milliliter. For milliliter, that is ml for tablespoon we have okay tbsp tablespoon next teaspoon or tsp so those are the correct abbreviations of the words that i have read or you have seen now let us try to evaluate what you have learned. 
So this is the instruction. Choose the correct answer among the given choices. So listen carefully to the question. Prepare your paper and pen. Ready? Let's start. So, question for number one. You are going to cook your favorite meal. It was written in the cookbook that you will need 500 ml of vegetable oil for the recipe. You need to use your measuring cup for it. If one cup is equivalent to 250 ml, how many cups is equivalent to 500 ml? The answer is two cups or letter A. You got it? Now, for number two. Although some cookbooks spell out some unit of measurements, you notice that the one you bought did not. You're having difficulty identifying one particular cooking abbreviation. What do you think does the cooking abbreviation LB refers to? Okay, letter A, pint. Letter B, pound. Letter C, ounce. Letter D, cup. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, pound. So those are the different things that we have to learn inside our kitchen. I hope that you had learned a lot from our lesson today. And for your assignment, find a recipe of your favorite dish and then give the abbreviation of the units of measurements of that recipe. I hope you're having a good day today and that's all for our lesson today. God bless everyone. That was great. Thank you, Ma'am Rosalyn. Thank you, viewers and listeners, for tuning. We hope that you learned something today. Goodbye for now.